What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossMertech.com and this is another tutorial in PHP programming. In my last class I showed you guys how to retrieve the info from the user using the super global variable uh, post. Now I'm going to show you guys how to send all that info to your email. So the first thing we're going to need to do is, by the way this is the code we used in our last tutorial, the first thing we're going to need to do is create a couple more inputs. So I'm going to go up to this part here right before uh, this uh, submit button I'm gonna put a couple of more inputs I'm gonna name this one email because I want the user to enter an email because we're gonna need it later on so I'm gonna type in capital E M A I L colon I'm gonna hit space this is uh, not a special code this is just gonna print this on to the page right here this is the code for the input uh, this less than symbol here we're gonna type in I N P U T for input we're gonna hit space we're gonna type in the type of input so we're gonna type in type All right we hit equal symbol here uh, we're gonna have a set of double quotes in between the set of double quotes we're gonna type in text because this is a text input All right now outside of this uh, double quote here we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna hit space and we're gonna give it a name we're gonna give our input a name so I'm gonna type in name equal symbol again a set of double quotes in between the set of double quotes we're going to give it a name I'm going to name this one email so now I'm going to end this with a greater than symbol here then we're going to add this break because I want this to break to the next line so uh, we're going to type in less than symbol greater than symbol in between this less than and greater than symbol we're going to type in br so it breaks to the next line now so next to this break tag here I'm going to hit enter we're going to add one more input. This is going to be a text input, text area input. This allows the user to enter a message so or text, whatever they want to write uh, to the person receiving the message. Now, I'm going to type here this less than symbol. Then we're going to type in text, T-E-X-T, -E area, A-R-E-A, -E together. I want to hit space. We're going to have to give this text area a name. So I'm going to type in name, N-A-M-E equal then symbol again a set of double quotes in between the set of double quotes we got to uh, give it a name I'm gonna call mine text and um, I'm gonna hit space this is not the, the type text this is a name this is the name we're gonna use later on don't get it confused with this type here so now I'm gonna hit space we gotta give it a row count so we're gonna type row equal then symbol here a set of double quotes again in between this set of double quotes we're going to type in the amount of rows so I'm going to use eight rows outside this uh, set of double quotes we're going to hit space then we're going to type in columns so uh, we're not going to type in the columns exactly we're just going to type in C O L S it's like abbreviated equal then symbol and a set of double quotes again in between this set of double quotes we're going to type in the amount of columns we want I want 50 columns so now at the end of this here, I'm going to finish this off with a greater than symbol. Uh, now we got to close this with a closing tag. So we're going to use this uh, less than symbol, greater than symbol. In between this less than and greater than symbol, I'm going to type in forward slash, because forward slash breaks the tag. Then we're going to type in text area. So it closes the tag. So let's test it out. Let's see if our two inputs are, have been added to our page. So I'm going to hit save here. Let's open up our browser here. I'm going to hit refresh, continue, and as you can see, we got two new inputs. We got this email input, and we got this uh, text input here. So a user will enter their name, the date, their email address, and a message they want to send to uh, the person receiving the email. All right, the, the next thing we're going to need to do, since we created two more inputs, we got to add those inputs into these if statements here. Remember, this first if statement here, uh, checks whether or not uh, data is in the input. If data is in the input, it'll transfer over the value of the input that is stored in the super global variable post, remember that, into our variables that we named on the left side here. So we have to start off here, which in between this uh, set of closing uh, parentheses here. Type in two and symbols here. Hit space. Uh, we're going to type in is set then we're going to uh, type in a open and close parentheses. Now uh, we want to type in our new input here, our new input name. Since it's in a uh, super global variable called post, we have to first start off by typing in this dollar symbol underscore capital P-O-S-T, right? 
And to access the variable or to access that input, we got to uh, type in this open and closed bracket. In between this open and closed bracket, we're going to have a set of single quotes. Now, in between the set of single quotes, we're going to type in the name of our input. Our th new input here we created is email. So, and I named my input email. So I'm going to type in the name I use. So it's E M A I L. Remember the names we'll find here. These are the names that we added to these inputs. So that's why we, we uh, type them here so that we can access the value of the, uh, the input. So we're going to add one more. So again, in between uh, this two uh, closing parentheses, we're going to hit the space. We're going to use another set of ands, another two ands. Hit space. We're going to type in is set again. Another open and close parentheses. In between the open and close parentheses, we're going to type in our third input. Uh, since uh, the third input is stored in a super global variable, which is post, we're going to type in the dollar symbol underscore capital P O S T open and close bracket. Again, to access the specific uh, input, we got to use this open and close bracket. Inside the open and close bracket, we're going to have a set of single quotes. In between the set of single quotes, we got to type in the name of the input. Our final input here is this text input, this text area input, and I named this one text. So I'm going to type in text here. So this if statement checks whether or not data is in the inputs. If data is in the inputs here, then it will uh, send the, the value of the data to our new variables here we created. And uh, we got to create another two variables because we created two more inputs. So down here, I'm going to create another variable. I'm going to call this one email because we created an email input. So I'll call this one email. And I want email to be, we have to hit space, by the way, hit space again. And and, and uh, I have this uh, equal symbol in between. So I want this uh, variable to be equal to the super global variable post, right? So we're going to type in this dollar symbol underscore capital P O S T, right? Open and close brackets here and that with a semicolon because this is a statement in between this open and close bracket. Again, we're going to type in a set of single quotes in between the set of single quotes. We're going to type in the name of the input. Since this is the email, I named my uh, email input email. So I'm going to type an email here. All we're doing again is transferring the value of our super global variable where all the input is stored to our new variables on the left side here. Now, our final one here, I'm going to call this one, let's call it text. And I want this one equal to, again, our super global variable because that has the value. So we can type in dollar symbol underscore capital P O S T, open and close bracket. And end it with a semicolon because it's a statement in between the open and close bracket. Again, we we're going to have a set of single quotes. In between the set of single quotes, we're going to type in the name of our input. Our final input here is named text. So I'm going to type in text here. And it's transferring the value of the user's text message they sent to our new variable text here. All right, so now we're going to create a couple more variables. So our first variable, I'm going to call this variable 2. And two is going to be equal to our my email or your email, the email you want uh, this uh, form to go to. So we're going to have a set of single quotes, end it with a semicolon because this is a statement. In between the set of single quotes here, we're going to type in the email address you want this message to go to. I'm going to type in my email address here. It's rossmertzek at gmail.com. You'll type in the email you want the message to go to. Now we're going to create another variable. I'm going to call this variable subject. And I want subject to be equal to this little message here. So I'm going to have a set of single quotes and end it with a semicolon. In between uh, this uh, single quotes here, I'm going to type in a message. The subject will say form sub submitted. So the, the subject will say form submitted. I'm going to create another variable down here. I'm going to call this variable body. All right. And I want this variable body to be equal to the variable name because I want this to print out the user's name, whatever the name the user entered. Then we're going to type in dot here. We're going to use this 
or, or double quotes, a set of double quotes because we wanted to have a space. Then we're going to have the dot again. Then we're going to type in the text, the variable text, the text the user entered. So we're going to use this dollar symbol, T-E-X-T, -E because remember I transferred over the value of the super global variable that had the input text into this variable text here. So this body here is going to print out the user's name and the text they entered. So, so again, this is a statement ended with a semicolon. Now we have one more variable we created. I'm going to call this variable headers. So we're going to use the dollar symbol, type in headers, A, D, E, R, S, and I want headers to be equal to this message here. So I'm going to have a set of single quotes. And in this single quote here, I want to type in capital F O R M from, end it with a uh, colon, right? Then over here, I'm going to have a dot because I'm going to add another variable here, or I'm going to connect a variable to this. And between this colon and a single quote here, you should have a space because then I'll we'll, uh, space it out on the program. So next to this dot here, I'm going to type in the variable email, the, the variable email we created here. So it's going to print out from and then the user's email. So I'm going to type in this dollar symbol, E M A. I L and end it with a semicolon because this is a statement. Now we got to create a if statement here. So I'm going to type in if space, open and close parentheses, hit space, open curly brace. We have to end the if statement with a closing curly brace, right? So now in between this open and close parentheses, I'm going to put inside the email method. We're going to use the email method. To do that, we got to type in this at symbol. Then we're going to type in email, M-A-I-L. This does all the work. This actually emails everything to the user. Now we're going to have another open and close parentheses. In between this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in our variables we created down here, these variables here. So I'm going to type in the first one, which is two, comma, hit space. We're going to type in the second one, which is subject, right? Comma, space. Third one here is body comma, space, and the final one here is headers. So now here, if this here, uh, if the message has been sent, we want it to print something on the screen. So we're going to echo out a message in between a set of single quotes, right? And then there would be a semicolon. I want it to enter a message, and I want to say, got email or actually message sent, even better. So if the message went through successfully, it'll tell the user message sent. So now let's create a else statement, just in case the message did not go through and there was an error, we're gonna type in else, space, open, curly brace, we gotta end a else statement with a closing curly brace, right? In between this open and close curly brace here, we're gonna type in what we want it to do if we got it an error or if uh, the message wasn't sent. So I'm gonna echo something out on the screen. I'm gonna echo out and we're gonna use a set of single quotes here and there will be a semicolon because this is a statement. In between this set of single quotes, we're gonna type in a message and I want to type in E-R-R-O-R, -R -R, error, comma, send it again. Exclamation point. All right, so we're gonna test it out now. Let's hit save here. Let's open up our browser. Let's hit refresh, continue, and right here. Let's type in our name. Enter here. Oops, I hit enter. So let's type in our name. Next line here, we're gonna type in the date. So today is the first month, which is January. Today is the 20th, and it's 2014. The third one, we're going to type in our email. Uh, I'm not going to use my email. I'll type in a email I use, which is uh, rasim277 at yahoo.com. Now we're going to type in a message. In this message, I'm going to type in hello. How are you? And that's it. So I'm going to hit send. And that's it. And then uh, it will send it to uh, the person whose email you have in the uh, two. So now, basically, that's pretty much it. Right, for this to work, you got to take the PHP file you created 
for this uh, form here and you got to upload it to your website to the root directory so then you'll be able to use it from there so all right guys I forgot one more thing it's not really that important but down here as you can see this code here uh, we used it in our last tutorial I forgot to add uh, these two variables that we created uh, basically what this does this uh, tests whether or not the inputs have data so not empty if if uh, the inputs are not empty meaning they have something in them then it'll echo out success but if you hit send and uh, there is nothing in any of the inputs then you're gonna get this error message here uh, you must enter the data in all fields so uh, basically I used it in my last tutorial again it's not important but we're gonna I'll finish it right now so we have to add the last two uh, variables so again between this two uh, closing parentheses I'm gonna hit space we're gonna add this add symbol or we're gonna add this and symbol two of them hit space type in exclamation point EMPTY oh open and close parentheses in between the open and close parentheses we're going to type in our variable name our third one here is email so we're going to type in dollar symbol e m a i l now we're going to add another one so in between these two uh, closing parentheses i'm going to hit space add another two and symbols here hit space uh, exclamation point e m p t y open and close parentheses in between the open and close parentheses we're going to type in the variable name of our last variable we added which is text so dollar symbol t e x t and now it shouldn't be down here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this whole if statement till the end of the else so this if to the end of this else i'm going to copy this i'm going to delete it from here because it shouldn't be here again this is not really that important but uh, if you guys uh, you, you want to have that in the program wh whether or not the user uh, enters something and if the user doesn't enter something then when you hit the send button it'll tell the user you must enter data then you will have to paste it between here so paste it here so now uh, it, it should work I'm gonna hit save here let's open up the browser again I'm gonna hit refresh here continue so now here there's nothing in the fields I'm gonna hit submit as you can see it prints out you must enter data in the fields but once I enter data in the fields here right let's enter random things doesn't matter okay that's fine let's keep entering my name so once I hit submit it should say success so that's pretty much it again this is pretty much it for this video if you guys like this video please give me a like if you want more videos like this please subscribe to my channel I'm Rustin from RustinMartech.com and thanks for watching